Unprecedented times call for some truly unprecedented wings. Today we're going to be making some incredible wings using the Joe Tisserie. It's going to be like restaurant style wings. This is my favorite way of making them. We've got some really unique and awesome seasoning that we're going to throw on this and we're going to let it roast over a fire and it's going to be really, really fantastic. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and comment with what you want to see me cook next. So let's fire it up. So it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna be using the Napoleon basket. I'm sure you've seen this. This works with the Joe Tisserie. And what it does is the wings are gonna sit in there and it's gonna rotate. And that's gonna give you that super even uh, cook on the wings. These things taste like they came out of the fryer, uh, but they didn't. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get these a little bit oiled, get them seasoned up. I'm using some avocado oil. It's got that high smoke point. And then I'm also gonna be using this wing dust. And I'm not sure if you've seen that, but definitely take a look. I'll drop a link in the description, but really good buffalo hot flavor wings. Uh, it's really nice and um, thin, really powdery, so it sticks to the wings good, and it doesn't fall off as much when these wings rotate. If you use a thick seasoning, sometimes that has a tendency to fall off. Um, so a lot of people will season them after the fact, but I really like this because it's nice and powdery. It's gonna stick, it's gonna give it some really good color too. Okay, avocado oil, super easy. I got like, uh, I got probably like, 18 wings or so in here. So I'm gonna throw this around a little bit and give them a little shake. I'm probably gonna hit this uh, afterwards also, but I just want a little coat to start. Whew. You can smell that immediately hitting, man. They got a, bit, a couple different kinds of flavors too. They got this um, the seven pepper facelift. I, I used this uh, about a week ago. I love it. This is probably my preference here, but um, but the wife, she, she likes the more mild buffalo, but that's really good too. You can always sprinkle this on afterwards, but definitely take a look. We're gonna give these a shake. Already got some nice red color to them. Nice red wing, good color. As they cook, they're gonna come out uh, even richer and darker and everything is gonna be really good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna oil up our basket, get down the Joe Tisserie and get these things on. So I got some regular old uh, cooking spray here. What I'm gonna do here, just give a little spray. Pretty easy to cover everything. That's ready to go. So now I'm gonna take the uh, little rod here for the Joe Tisserie. You see that going in there? It fits nice. And this, uh, the Napoleon basket, Napoleon actually is a grill company. So um, this is for their product, but it actually fits on the Joe. So it kind of works out. So if you don't have a Napoleon, if you don't have a Joe, you could still probably use this. Just gotta check and make sure it's compatible. Cool, chicken seasoned. We greased up the, um, the little basket here now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. We're gonna dump this chicken in. And it's gonna seem like a lot, but this chicken's actually gonna cook down a decent amount. First time I used this, I put in like uh, seven wings because that looked right, and uh, they were just all thrown around there once I was done. So they can definitely handle more than you might think. So there we have it. These things are ready to go. And I'm not sure if you saw that, but this uh, this basket here has little uh, little levels. So basically the chicken doesn't just fall over, whatever you're cooking doesn't fall over in one big clump on top of each other. It actually almost like hits like a staircase and kind of like bumbles back and forth. So um, this looks good. The only thing we have to do now, the grill is right around the 400 mark. And we're gonna put this on the Jotisserie, turn it on and just let it roll here. The fire's gonna heat up here. Uh, it's gonna get some really good color. It's gonna get a little smoke flavor and it's gonna get ultra crispy all the way around. You're not gonna have any of that gumminess. That's, you know, when I have like chicken wings, they're gummy, that's the last thing I want. Uh, I want a nice crispy wing. Uh, and the fact that it's gonna be crispy without being fried is even better. So let's get this on. Sweet, so the grill's at about 425 or so. We're gonna open this up. And I wanna show you uh, the ash basket that I got here and how we got this all set up. So what we got here is we got this ash basket with the uh, with a little divider here in the middle. So you can see that the fire is only on that one side and that's the whole thing with the rotisserie. You don't want it to just be over a raging fire. You want it to be banked a little bit. And this ash basket with the divider helps me do that. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this basket here. I'm gonna put this into the jotisserie carefully because I'm not wearing heat gloves right now. Make sure that's on, make sure that all looks good. Put that off there. See that fire starting to get a little bit more hot because we got the air. And we're gonna turn this on. Oh yeah, you can see those embers are going crazy. Those are gonna get some really good color on that skin, make it nice and crispy. And you can just see the wings there as they start to rotate. You're gonna see it how it starts to fall and they start to separate here. And that's exactly the benefit of a basket like this in the Joe Tisserie. All those individual wings are gonna get nice and crispy on their own. So at this point, we just gotta let it sit here 
Uh, depending on the temperature, it could maybe take, you know, 40 minutes, an hour, maybe a little bit less. We're going to let it roll here. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, it's been about an hour now, 375, 400 degrees. These wings are ready to come on off. Uh, super crispy. Uh, I'm excited. If you don't have the Napoleon basket or the Joe Tisserie, it's really easy to get super awesome crispy wings. What I would do is I would put the heat deflectors in and let them roll around 450 degrees or so uh, for around the same period of time. You know, use your favorite seasoning and rub and sauces and everything. Uh, you can't go wrong with it on the grill, honestly. So uh, let's bring it in. Let's take a look and see how these wings are tumbling around and then we're going to get these pulled off. Super crispy skin. You can see they do a good job of separating, so no big clumping of wings. They're falling all apart and everything. Good even color all around. You see that nice red mahogany? That's from uh, one, the smoke, and, uh, and also that wing dust that we use, that buffalo wing dust. And you can smell that right now just radiating off that basket. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to throw a couple of those down in the description so you can pick them up if you're interested but I definitely highly recommend them. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm gonna pull these off and we're gonna get them on the cutting board. These things look awesome. They're nice and all evenly crispy. You can hear them. What we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, get them out of the basket here, throw them in a, um, a little bowl here. We're gonna to toss them with some sauce. I like this wing time sauce. I'll tell you a little bit about it. And uh, we're gonna get all tossed up and put them on this platter here. These things look incredible. I'm really excited about this. The color that it's got on there, if you can see that. Beautiful mahogany color, nice and hot, super crispy. We're gonna throw these in uh, with a little bit of this wing time sauce. Um, highly rate, this is, I've had a lot of wing sauces over the years. One of my favorites here, We've got a link in the description. Um, you know, good buffalo flavor, a little buttery, kind of spicy. The medium's actually plenty spicy for me. So we're gonna throw a couple of these in here, get them all shaken up with the wing time sauce, and we're gonna have a bite. Look at that, how good does that look? Perfectly sauce wing, it's still nice and crispy, you can feel it, but it's got that awesome sauce. Again, with the awesome sauce reference. I gotta, I gotta stop using that term. <laughs> this looks really good, let's give it a shot. Hmm. That's really incredible, totally done on the, all the way through. Nice, crispy skin, really juicy on the inside. That flame, you know, having that flame uh, underneath the basket there, that helps seal in a lot of that moisture. It gives you that crispy skin, but also just helps it stay super tender and moist. And then you could have these uh, just uh, with just the seasoning or naked or whatever seasoning you want, uh, whatever sauce you want, but it's phenomenal. Highly recommend it. Again, if you do not have a Jotisserie or the Napoleon basket, take a look at the description if, uh, if you're interested, but if you want to just cook these things indirect, I'm talking 450 for maybe an hour or so. Throw them, all of them on there, flip them halfway through, make sure it gets all nice and uh, evenly colored, evenly cooked. But it is really something special. I'm, it, I'm shocked it took me this long to do a, uh, a video on wings. But uh, this is one of my favorite ways to do it, one of my favorite sauces. You know, this, this wing dust, you can taste that, you can smell it from inside the house. It's really good. Um, so it's time to eat at this point, but you know, appreciate you sticking around with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any cooks. If, uh, if you're so inclined, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we pump out a video. And as always, comment with what you think of this video and what you want me to cook next. So super fun to cook, super easy cook, You know, maybe about an hour cook time total, but uh, it was pretty automated. We threw it on and we're done. So it's dinner time. We're gonna go enjoy these, but stick around until next week.